Okay, I'll show them the code. Okay, here's the code that Kaylee told us. Who's Skytown? Uh, uh, so, she learned from Mr. Kron's. If it's clockwise, you switch 90 degrees. Remember how I said 90 degrees, the X and Y switch? Um, counterclockwise, the X become its opposite. Clockwise, the X become its opposite. In um, counterclockwise, it switch, and the Y becomes its opposite. That negative means it's opposite. So if you follow that rule with 90 degrees, it works for clockwise and counterclockwise. Okay, so here's the, um, write the coordinate of a vertex after a rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise around the origin. And draw, and draw and label this. So our original point is, remember it's H in order, H, I, um, let's put it horizontally, I mean vertically. H coordinate, I its coordinate, J is its coordinate, K. Remember it needs to be in alphabetical order. H is negative 7, um, negative 2. Um, I is negative 3, negative 2. J is um, negative 2 negative 6 and k is um, negative 8 and negative 6. So rotation counterclockwise 90 degrees if you use the formula well counterclockwise is going to be right over here so we know our x is going to be positive and our y is going to be negative um, and you switch them counter 90 degrees, you're going to switch. So H um, prime, remember 90 degrees, you switch them. So it becomes 2, 7 instead of 7, 2. I, okay, I prime is 2, 3. You notice how I switch these numbers? I switch them around. J prime is 6, negative 2. K prime is 6, 8, but not negative 2. Now, we need to remember here, in this quadrant, X is positive and Y is negative. So we make all our Y negatives. Here's our Y. It's going to be all negatives. The X is going to be positive. So make them all negative. Okay, that's how you do them. Um, and then check to make sure it's correct. Um, so 2, negative 7, 2, negative 7, 2, negative 7, 6, 6, 7 right here. H prime. Um, I, I is 2, negative 3. I prime, oh, that's H, I prime, and 6, negative 2, that doesn't look right, <laughs> what, oh. 6, negative 2, okay, right here and 6 negative 8 it's right here and that's J prime K prime okay rotation that looks it is congruent you just rotate it the two shapes are congruent it's just being rotated right there okay alrighty and then um, B says, write the coordinate translated, translate the 
quadrilateral, quadrilateral, six vertically. Vertical is the Y, so we're going to change the Y to um, X plus, Y plus six, because this is vertical, so it's Y plus six. And horizontally, so eight horizontally, so X plus eight. That's our rule. Draw and label it as D double prime, as H double prime labeled. Um, so we take our H, I, J, and K, negative 7, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 2, negative 6 and negative 8, negative 6, and for all the x we add, oops, for all the x we add 8, okay, all the x we add 8, um, so here we would go h double prime is, um, at x at 8 would be 1 and y at 6 would be 4. i double prime so it would be negative 3 add the 8 is 5 and the um, negative 2 add 6 would be the 4. j double prime would be negative 2 at the 8 is um, 6. Negative 6 add the 6 is 0. Um, K double prime is um, negative 6 add 8 is 0. Negative 8 add 8 is 0. Negative 6 is 0, 0. And then you graph that. Okay h double prime h double prime is 1 4 okay and then 5 4 that's um, i double prime Um, six zero, six zero right here. That is J double prime, and here zero zero is K double prime. Connect the dots. You should get a congruent figure because it's just a shift. Just real quick, it says this computer has been scheduled to shut down automatically. Oh, thank you. Cancel. Thank you. Okay. That's how you do that one. This is our second image because it's double prime. All right. Which method would you use to graph following linear equation and why? I would use um, slope intercept form to graph for this one. I would use slope intercept form. form to graph because slope is 4 and y intercept is and y intercept is -8 okay so and graph it. Y intercept is at negative 8. Slope is 4, so you go up 4 over 1. Y intercept is like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Seahawks ball. Um, mm. This one I would use X and Y intercept to graph. 
use the X and Y intercept to graph because um, it's in standard form of AX plus BY equals to C. So, that means you go x-intercept is 8 equals to, you put y equals to 0, so that is 0 equals to 3x. Okay, you divide by 3, divide by 3, um, that should get you 2 and 2 thirds equals to x. Now, 2 and 2 thirds on the x is a, between 2 and 3. So 2 and 2 thirds is right there about. Okay, we're estimating here. A little bit more than half. The y-intercept is at um, the y-intercept is, okay, we make x equal to 0, and that gives you 0 here, so the y-intercept is 8 equals to 4y. That's easier to graph. Divide by 4, divide by 4, y, 2 is equals to y. So it's obviously right there. So you can use that and graph it, and you can graph it like that. Okay, now here use the appropriate method and write an equation of the following graph. I do not want you to use point slope here. You do not use point slope here because we have the y-intercept. B equals to negative 2 and we got slope down 1, 2 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 5. Slope is down 2, right 5. So once you have the y-intercept and slope, you do not use point-slope. Once you have y-intercept, do not use point-slope. You use y equals to mx plus b, slope-intercept form. You need to know that. Once you, I'm going to start testing you on this. On If you have the y-intercept, what formula do you use? You use y equals mx plus b. You want y equals your m is negative 2 over 5x minus 2. Math is about speed and accuracy. There we go. Okay, here we, here we are for this one. This one, because we don't have a y-intercept, we can use point slope. There's no b. We got slope, though. Got slope of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, over 1, 2, 3. Slope is negative 6 over 3, which is negative 2. So we got slope, so we can use point slope. Choose point here, that's 2, 6, and this is 4, 1. I would use 4, 1. Okay, I can use point slope here by going, okay. Um, y minus y1 equals to m parentheses x minus x1 y minus 4, 1, equals to m, which is negative 2, x minus x1, which is 4. Okay, so we distribute, distribute, negative 2x plus 8. y minus 1, add 1, add 1. y equals to negative 2x, add 9. So it's going down 2 each time and over 1. 2 over 1, 2 over 1, that's true, 2 over 1. It's going down and the y-intercept, if you continue, it's most likely going to be at 9. So this equation is correct. Okay, now let's look at the back. Here, um, 
this one here is ignore the pink paper this assignment we're going to do that tomorrow okay so that um all right this is 90 degrees counterclockwise so here's 12 counters this way so it's going to be here okay so it's going to be on this area, so x is going to be negative, y is going to be positive. So make sure that x is negative, y is positive. Now, for 90 degrees, x and y are going to switch. You need to remember that 90 degrees, x and y are going to switch. So this, so 1 and 2, they're going to switch. It becomes 2 and 1, 5 and 1, switch to numbers, 5 and 10 and 2 and 10. Okay, and then if you look at here, okay, if you look at here, x is positive, x is negative, y is positive. So we're going to leave the y alone, this is alone, we leave all the y's like it is and make all the x negatives. So it's easy as negative, 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 negative. See? There goes your coordinate. And let's graph and see. Hey, Leland, what's up? Yeah, Leland? No, I'm at work, son. Is, is Daddy there? Do you need me to pick you up? Okay, let me finish recording this and I'll go pick you up, all right? About 30 minutes. Okay, bye. My son, you know, he wants to be the greatest, wants to be a good golfer, but practice-wise, sucks, so he's still not too good. Negative 2, 1 right here. Um, negative 5, 1. Negative 5, 1 right here. Um, negative 5, 10 up there. Negative 2, 10. Yep, it's right. See how it's laying down? Then it's standing up, the rotation. And it goes all the way to the end. Well, if you have a ruler or more accurate, it's correct. Okay? There you go. So the pattern is um, for 90 degrees, switch X and Y. And for right now, that's the pattern I see. Um, there is a rule, like Kaylee says, if it's clockwise, counterclockwise, but it's easy for me to remember 90 degrees, you switch the numbers. So here is 90 degrees counterclockwise because it's 90 degrees. I'm going to switch the numbers. Switch yeah, switch for both. For both. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to just do one at a time. Um, we're going to switch the numbers. So counterclockwise, here's 12 counters this way, so it's going to be right here. So as you can see, x is going to be positive and y is going to be negative in that quadrant. So we switch them. So it becomes 4 and 10, 4 and 3, 0 and 3, because we switch them 0 and 10. If you look at this quadrant, all x are positive. So we're going to leave all of that alone. And all y's are negative. So I'm going to make these negatives. Okay? So, um, I'm going to graph it just to make sure. P, P, P is at 4, negative 10. 4 is right here, negative 10 is all the way down here. Um, that's P prime. And then Q is 4, negative 3, which is here. 
q prime, r is 0, negative 3, 0, negative 3, which is here. Oh, let me write q on the other side. r prime is right here, and um, 0, negative 10 is here. Yep. You rotate, it is correct because this is laying down, oops, sorry, this is laying down, standing up, okay? All right, so next problem, rotate 270 counterclockwise. Hey, 270 counterclockwise, explain, explain 90 degrees, switch the numbers. Switch the X and Y, so it becomes YX, like that, okay? Um, whatever's in Y becomes X, whatever's in X become Y. Um, 270 counterclockwise is counter going, here's 12 degrees, 1, 2, 3, 270 is, is right there. 90, 180, 270. Right there. It's the same as, okay, 270 to me is the same as 90 degrees clockwise. So I'm going to do 90 degree clockwise. 270 is the same as 90 degrees clockwise. And if it's 90 degrees, I know the number is going to, the X and Y are going to switch. It's going to become X and Y switch. And, oh, spell switch wrong. Okay, so it's going to be in this quadrant, so everything is going to be positive. Oh, that's easy. To switch and leave it positive. So you see that? The X is positive. All these numbers are positive. All these numbers up here are positive. So we're going to switch them. 5, 2, 6, 2, 6, 0. And they're all going to be positive, so we leave it alone. Easy enough? You graph it. Does this sound easy enough? Huh? The switching? It's 90 degrees. So 5, 2, 6, the beauty of math. 5, 2, 6, 2, and 6, 0. Okay, this is D prime. Oh, I'm sorry, C prime. D prime, E prime. Okay? So we can count all, okay, 180 degrees. Remember, 180 degrees is X and Y stays the same. It doesn't matter which way, counter or clockwise stays same. So X and Y stays the same. So this is 4 and 8 still, 8 and 8 still, and 0 and 9 still. Okay, 180, they're always the same. Now you need to be careful. 180 degrees counterclockwise is here. There's 90, 180. So that's right in that box. In that box, Y positive on the Y, and all these are your X, and they're negative. So positive on a Y, so we leave all the Ys alone, and X are all negatives. So here we just put negatives. And then we graph it, easy enough. And that way we don't flip, turn, whatever, you just follow the rules. You think I should teach this again, Vanessa? 
on 90 degrees switch. We just need negative 4, 8, right here. But then they can watch this YouTube. Hopefully they get it. Negative 8, 8, 0, 9. Oh, 0 is neither positive or negative, so 0, 9. 0, 9 is right here. So you get something that looks like this. Congruent. See, it looks exactly like the blue, lovely green one down here. Okay, rotation leaves the shape the same, so it's called congruent, and this is the end of it. Okay, so if you follow the rules 180 degrees, you leave everything the same. All the numbers the same, and look at your quadrant. Positive, negative, so you, this stays positive, leave them alone, focus on the negative. 90, switch. Anytime you see 90, everything switch. Okay? Any questions? I hope this helps. Um, better anyways.